Leland Stitch was almost a disaster. He used to start with Stitch being a criminal, he was diabolical and it just wasn't working. But I'm not saying this to bash the movie. There's actually a great character building lesson here that will make you a better storyteller. Let's hear it straight from its creator, the amazing Chris Sanders. Theme has always been a little odd to me. Like every film is like almost the same theme as a car. <laughs> but story. You could say, what's your story? That's different. With Lilo and Stitch, like every movie I've ever worked on, the theme and the story is clarified as you work on it. The first version of Lilo and Stitch that we put up, it was certainly a villain that was becoming a hero, but we realized, oh my gosh, we didn't ever figure out why he becomes a hero. Like, what is the reason that he changes from bad to good? And so the next step after we put the film up for the first time was to figure that out. And what we came upon was the idea of Aloha and family. So Stitch didn't start as an experiment. In the first version of the story, he was just an alien who was the leader of a gang and he crash landed on Earth and he was biding his time until his gang could get there and he was going to create mayhem. And in one of our meetings, after one of our screenings, Roy Disney, in fact, he was just to my left, I'll never forget, he said, I liked Stitch when I thought he was a baby. But when I realized he was a grown up and ran a gang, I didn't like him as well. And live in that meeting, I was like, oh my gosh, the whole thing is falling apart, right? And I started thinking and I thought, well, okay, he is handled by guys wearing hazmat suits and they move him around in a little jar because we had that much already boarded. And the room was really quiet. And I kept talking and I said, they treat him almost like he's a virus. And the equivalent of a virus would be a genetic mutation. And the room stayed really quiet. And then I turned to Tom Schumacher and I said, what if he was considered so dangerous because he was a one-off, a mutation that was created in a lab and they didn't know what to do with him? And he was like, do that. So all of a sudden, Stitch went from being a gang leader to being basically an orphan. Now, same thing, he lands in Hawaii, but what is he missing? A family. What does Lilo and Nani offer him? They offer him a family. It's an offbeat family, it's a broken family, but the whole idea of Aloha is that you can make a family out of whatever you want. A family can be a group of friends. A family can be anything you want it to be. It doesn't have to be blood relatives. So suddenly we have the ultimate orphan landing in the one place on earth that has really the ultimate interpretation of family. And at that point, I thought, okay, we've got it. We didn't know everything when we jumped into it. We had a great character and a great situation, but while we worked on the story, it got simpler and stronger. Gang, gone. Stitch, a one-off. And now he is a baby and he's weirder instead of being diabolical and really smart. He is smart, but he doesn't have like this giant plan. Now he could be more impulsive and more unpredictable. And so he got way better during the story process. One of the best parts of writing is seeing a story grow into something emotional. At the Write for Animation Academy, I get to watch our members turn their ideas into stories they're really proud of. Our community is all about learning the craft of storytelling and supporting each other so that we can create stories for a living, which is, in my opinion, the best job in the world. If you love animation, you love collaboration, and want to take your storytelling career to the next level, join us today at writeforanimation.com academy. I can't wait to see what you create. And speaking of collaboration, let's go back to Chris. I work with people who are very good at structure. Dean Deblois, one of my partners, is very good at structure. Actually, working with my wife, Jessica Steele Sanders, she also is very good at structure. I think you are either an architect or a gardener. Gardeners like me, I tend to just get into the story and I just start writing and storyboarding and starting feeling my way through things. That's not necessarily a great way to go. It's okay if you have a structure first. So I really believe in like when things like Lilo and Stitch came along, it started with a character. It's okay to start with a character. I had this character in my head, this little sort of monster, and I wanted to do a story surrounding him. That's where this whole thing began. With Lilo and Stitch, it is a story of a villain that becomes a hero. That is at the very core and the very base of the whole story, a villain that becomes a hero. And that all came out of my experience at Disney where there was a villain and we had to dispatch them at the end and they got what they deserved and they were killed and they were gone. And it began to like get into my head, like, well, what if instead of killing a villain, we redeemed them? And that became something that I really was obsessed with. So that at its core is where Lilo and Stitch started. 
with the character. And that's a great place to start because that is hopefully compelling. A character whose journey is compelling. Now, the moment you get that character and you get some things down, you get this list of things that you want to accomplish, stop worrying about the character and start thinking about structure. If you can create a very simple, strong structure, a three act structure, if it holds up the basic story, that's the architecture, then you can go back to character, you can go back to the gardening and once I know a sequence is in the right place and I know where the sequence starts and stops and what must become in that sequence, then I can relax and be more organic and like feel my way through this moment. Beginning with characters is a great place to begin because you want your character to be fresh and compelling and have an interesting journey. So are you an architect or a gardener? Let me know in the comments. You know, I think Lilo and Stitch might just be the perfect movie and it all works so well because everything in the film supports a great simple theme. Ohana means family. Family means nobody, nobody gets, gets left, left behind. Theme is everything in your story. Watch this video to learn how to discover your movie's theme and create an emotional journey. I'm Pietro and this is Right for Animation. I'll see you in the video.